Okay, so in this problem, we have to find the limit of this function as x approaches infinity. So there's two ways to do this. Method one is that you can look at this and just write the answer down. So whenever you have a polynomial over a polynomial, uh, you look at the leading coefficients. So in this case, the leading coefficient here is 9. In this case, the leading coefficient here is 5. And because these have the same degree, like these are both 3s, the answer is just going to be 9 over 5. Again, whenever the degrees are the same, the answer is the ratio of leading coefficients. The thing is, these both have the same growth rate. They're both cubic, so that's why you can do this. Now, if you want it to show work, what you can do is realize that this has the form infinity over infinity. So you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule basically says that you just take the derivative. So let's do it. Let's use L'Hopital's. So we have the limit as x goes to infinity. So taking the derivative in the numerator, we'll get 27x squared. And then the derivative of minus 8x is minus 8. And the derivative of 8 is 0 over taking the derivative on the bottom. That's going to give us 15x squared and the derivative of 8 is 0. You still have infinity over infinity. Okay, so this is equal to, taking the limit again, x goes to infinity. So 2 times 27 is going to be 54x. On the bottom, we'll just get 30x. Still infinity over infinity, so you could do it again. Use L'Hopital's again, right? repeatedly using L'Hopital's. The derivative of 54x is 54. The derivative of 30x is 30. At this point, you cannot use L'Hopital's anymore, right? It's just not possible because it's not infinity over infinity. So this is just 54 over 30. It's a constant. So nothing happens to 54 over 30. As x approaches infinity, 54 over 30 is always just 54 over 30. So this should reduce, let's see, um, 6 goes into 54 9 times. And 6 goes into 35 times. Boom, there it is. So if you really wanted to show the work, you could do it this way. I personally think the easy way is to just look at it and write down the answer. And again, you can always do that when they match. Just, just to make the point, let's say you had limit x goes to infinity of 2x squared plus 1 over 3x cubed uh, squared plus 1. So if they're both the same then you just do 2 over 3 in this case, so 2 over 3, and that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.